you talked about how you needed a new vehicle to get your message across. What did you try to do and did you think it worked in any way tonight? Uh, no, I don't think it worked tonight. Um, we, the, the vehicle was, we were going to compete and we competed in practice. Um, there was, uh, to be honest, I mean, I'm sure you're no surprise. I was ornery all week with, with practice, um, holding people to their feet to the fire. Um, I thought we made progress in practice. Did I think we did tonight? Absolutely not. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's upsetting that we, we, we start games how we start them. Um, it's upsetting the amount of penalties we consistently take. And when you see the last, what, it's probably been five games, um, with the exception of the one Ferris that we, we came back and won the game. But yeah, you could even throw that in there too. The, the third period is the, first, is the period that we decide to play in the game. Um, and we, we look like the team that, we're, that we want to look like. Um, but because we haven't, you know, made plays under contact and had enough um, practice in, in a game or, or practice for that matter, we had two days this week of it. But to, to make plays with skill under contact and, and when things are happening, we don't we don't execute. So um, I, I'm upset today. Um, there's some other days that um, you feel different, but today today is upsetting. Yeah, uh, Griffin was out of the lineup again. Is that is you sending a message there? Or are you going to try to put him in tomorrow, or you don't know really know yet? No, uh, Griffin, Andre, Gantos, um, uh, two of our top four D Sorensen and Vestio have been hurt. Um, Griffin and Gantos have they are. It's not a coach's decision. Um, they're not in trouble. Um, I, I don't even know how to describe it. Um, they don't have COVID. They've already both had COVID. Um, but they are having post COVID effects. And um, one of them is seeing a specialist. Um, and the other one is um, going through some medical things too. Um, I don't know how much I can even say about it. I'm not sure how to de describe it properly. Um, the two defensemen are injured with typical hockey injuries. Um, those two forwards have uh, post-COVID uh, issues, I guess is the best way to say it. I'm sorry, I, I don't know how to describe this situation. With the special teams, I mean, what, what do you think is the problem there? Is anything standing out or is it just something that... I, well, I, I think it goes back to the things that, you know, we're, we're, so every year I do a project and this year we're reading a book called Hockey Tough. And um, there's a lot of different lessons in the book. It's, it's an incredible book. It's great. Um, you know, and consistency and, and mental toughness. And, um, you know, one, one of the things that we, I talked to him today about is it, it, there's a, there's a part in there and there's a million great parts of this book. Um, what essentially it's, it's, what are you willing to do to be determined and sacrifice to have success? Um, and your question on special teams is we aren't willing to block a puck. We, we had to bring real pucks out in practice and we practice blocking shots in practice. I've never done that in my life. Uh, we did it with our team practice blocking pucks. Um, that takes zero talent or ability or, or, or anything. Um, but we did it just to, to show people it doesn't hurt. Um, and on our penalty kill, we, we won't, we don't talk to each other. So we can't clear the puck the way we should. Um, we don't block shots, you know, and, and that goes back to how, how important is it really? Um, and on the power play, we we had some looks um, and execute, 
uh, had a, a player or two on, on a power play have a have a real poor game. And when you're having a real poor game, you don't you're usually not very effective on the power play. But when we did get pucks into areas, I, I give Lake State credit. Like they blocked pucks, they played hard, they um, did the things that we we mentioned they were going to do. Um, but that that's willingness and a commitment to win the game. Um, we're not there yet. We are going to get there. And, and you know, like I said, I don't, I don't know how many games uh, we're going to win or lose this year, but we have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. And that, that's, that's how you win is, is, is being able to be in a, in a state of uncomfort and, and having you know, a comfort level in that state. And that's, that's just confrontational sports, whether it's football, hockey, um, wrestling, whatever. Um, so it, it, it's going to be, uh, I, I can help them. I can make them uncomfortable, which I'm going to, to, to help them be uncomfortable. And, and maybe they can be comfortable being uncomfortable, but um, you know, we're, we're, we're not, we're, we're not there. Um, you know, I, I've, I've played a lot of players this year and, you know, we've had a lot of line combinations and, um, you know, I, like I said to the guys I, after the game, I know, I know this isn't, you're not having fun right now. I know this isn't a, um, you know, enjoyable. And, you know, I said, but, you know, I had, what I said, what would you guys do if, if you were, you know, with role reversal and, you know, the, the answer is obvious. They'd be doing the same things we're doing. And, and I, I, I it, like before the game, my message was, you, 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 when you're five years old, you played the game because you loved it. You played the game because it was fun. Um, the, the way to have fun has, has changed, you know, as a, as a division one player, there's a different definition of how to have fun. And it, it's being uncomfortable and willing to do those things in the game to take control of the game. So you can become comfortable in the game after you're, um, you know, you've kind of wrestled that part away. That's an area where we're not there yet. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's going to get there. Um, you know, the, I guess the, the saving grace is that, um, you know, it, well, I shouldn't even say saving grace because you, you'll play the game to win the game. But, um, you know, we got a little bit of time before we get back into conference play and, um, and we got a long way to go, but, um, whether we get there or not, I don't know, but it's going to be uncomfortable on the way there. Hey, hey, Grant, how uncomfortable was the team? What was it, 17 seconds in with that first penalty? That must have, I mean, all week preparing for this, and then right off the get go, you're in the box. That had to be just, uh, I, don't know, I don't know what on the bench there. You know what, Tom? It, it's, it's kind of been, you know, that one wasn't, uh, you know, an egregious penalty of, of being out of control. It was, you know, not handling a, uh, a one-on-one rush, which is, um, you know, something that obviously you learn, you know, early as a young player. Um, then, you know, our penalty kill is, is um, been, been Achilles heel for us, you know, and, and it was an issue last year. Uh, we changed a bunch of things and it worked. It, it works. And we went, you know, a couple games against Tech. We didn't give one up against Ferris, didn't give one up. Um, it works. And then you get in a position the last three games where to, to play in a penalty kill, you, you have to be willing to, to, you know, block a shot. You have to be willing to, to, to take a hit, to clear a puck 200 feet. Um, you have to play as four, you have to communicate, you have to, you know, all things that, that zero of it has to do with talent. And you know, when you're not willing to do that, and again, not willing to be uncomfortable, um, the result is what it is. You going to make a lot of line changes for tomorrow or no? Yes, there's going to be different players playing. We don't have any other defensemen to play. Um, this is all we got, so those guys are going to play. Um, but there will be changes elsewhere. When Joe scored tonight, do you think there was a bit more confidence on the bench or was it about the same throughout the game? I think there was confidence in the third period, Doug. Um, because we played and then we started to be involved in the game. Um, obviously too little too late. And 
you know, maybe our routine tomorrow has got to change. Maybe something's got to change in the morning, um, you know, to get our routine different. Cause you know, we, I've, I've, I personally changed their pregame routine um, because it wasn't working. I don't know what they, that was last week, um, you know, before Saturday, I don't know if it changed today. I, I, you know, um, we, we have to figure out a way to start the game on time. And uh, I know I shared with you the record when we score first the last four years, um, but we can't seem to get ready to play on time. And, um, you know, I, I again, I got to make us uncomfortable. So uh, this week was uncomfortable and it's going to continue to be uncomfortable until we're comfortable being uncomfortable. Thanks, Coach. No one, you guys started a little slow tonight. Um, it's kind of been a problem so far this year. What do you think is going on there from your perspective? I think we just need to prepare better for games and be ready to start on time. Coach said that your pregame routine or your, your pregame um, routine has changed. Um, what are you doing differently in the warm up? Uh, I think just different exercises and we're trying to be a little bit more upbeat during our um, preparation. Grant talked, Grant talked about, about being un uncomfortable, making you guys feel uncomfortable. Are you feeling that as a team? Yeah, I think we need to start going to the hard areas and getting out of our comfort zones if we want to have success, that's for sure. Nolan? Nolan, what do you think is the key to get a win and earn a split um, tomorrow night? I think we just need to outwork them tomorrow and come out, come out um, hard and play hard right out of the gate and not wait to start playing until the third period. Thanks, 